Hello everybody, welcome to Ruby Falcon, and today we're going to be making my signature roasted potatoes. This is a wonderful side dish with a beautifully complex, balanced flavor. Let's take a look at what you need to make it, okay? To make this dish, we're going to need some baby red potatoes. I use about six for this dish. We're going to use one tablespoon of duck fat. If you don't have duck fat, peanut oil works as well. We're going to use salt, pepper, garlic powder, coriander, cumin, paprika, rosemary, basil, dill, and thyme. I use duck fat to make this dish for two reasons. First of all, it adds a wonderful flavor to the potatoes. Second of all, it makes an incredible texture where you get a thin, crispy outer layer with a light, fluffy inner layer. Peanut oil does a similar texture with a slightly different flavor. If worse comes to worse, you can use olive oil, but I don't recommend it because it doesn't really provide the right flavor or texture. But if you can't find peanut oil or duck fat, you make do with what you got, right? So first thing you need to do is you need to cut the potatoes. Now, you can cut them in half, quarters, eighths, whatever works best for you. The way I recommend doing it is start with the smallest potato, cut it in half, like so, and then try and cut all the other potatoes to a similar size. By cutting all the potatoes to roughly the same size pieces, that ensures you're going to get a roughly even level of cooking through all pieces. Now that you have your potato prepared, it's time to add the toppings. So start with one tablespoon of duck fat. You may notice in this there are some little black flecks and everything like that. The reason is I don't strain the impurities out of the duck fat after I roast the duck because the herbs and spices I use to roast the duck are the same I use in this dish so there really isn't a need to separate it out. Next, we add some salt and some pepper, some garlic. This is one of the flavors I tend to like to emphasize. Coriander. Cumin is an interesting one to add because like black pepper and cinnamon, it opens the taste bud and makes you more receptive to flavor. So you don't want to add too much cumin because it's easy to overwhelm your taste. Some paprika. I like to add a fair amount of paprika for color. Some rosemary. basil, some dill, and finally some thyme. Having added the duck fat and all the herbs and spices to the potatoes, you can now toss them or mix them to get them fully coated. I like a nice light mixing bowl because it allows me to toss one-handed pretty easily. You're going to want to toss or mix until every piece of the potato is evenly coated. I love the combination of colors that you get on the potatoes from all the herbs and spices, especially the red from the paprika mixed with all the greens. Once every piece of potato is evenly coated, you can transfer them from the mixing dish onto a baking sheet. Because of the duck fat, some pieces of potato will tend to stick to the bowl, so you want to make sure you get all of them. And you will want to evenly space the potato pieces on the baking sheet to allow 
heat to get to evenly to every side of every piece. So with the potatoes properly coated and on the baking sheet, what we're going to do is we are going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, moving them every 10 minutes. So let's get that first 10 minutes going, okay? I'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, what we're going to do is we're going to take the potatoes out of the oven, move them around a bit, and then put them in for another 10 minutes. It already smells wonderful. I'll see you in another 10 minutes. All right, it's been another 10 minutes, 20 minutes in total. Time to move them again. You can see they're starting to get their final color, a nice golden brown on the exposed flesh. And it's time for our final 10 minute run. I'll see you then. All right, it has now been the full 30 minutes so we can go ahead and take the potatoes out of the oven for the final time. There we go. The finished fully roasted potatoes. You can serve directly from the baking sheet or put them in a serving dish, whichever works best for however much you've made and who you're serving for. And there you have it, Mike's Signature Roasted Potatoes, a wonderfully complex but well-balanced side dish flavor. Today I'm serving Mike's Signature Roasted Potatoes with roasted cauliflower and a bacon-wrapped filet mignon. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, you can go ahead and subscribe by clicking up here. Down here is something that the algorithmic overlords at YouTube think you might enjoy from this channel. If it catches your fancy, go ahead and click on it. Either way, I'll see you next time.